Okay, students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Now we are going to solve this problem chapter uh, from chapter 14, problem 23. The problem says that the 8 kg block is moving with an initial speed of 5 meter per second. If the coefficient of kinetic friction between the block and the plane is 0.25, we are required to determine the compression in the spring when the block momentarily stops. So, this is the initial state of this block B which is moving with an initial velocity of uh, 5 meter per second. So, this is V1 and it will travel a distance of 2 meter and then it will come in contact with this spring which has a stiffness of 200 Newton per meter. So, when this uh, block just comes in in contact with that spring, so the spring will apply the force on this block towards the left. This will be the, if this is the that block B, so the spring is going to apply the force in this direction. So, this is the spring force and similarly the weight of this block is going to act uh, vertically downward, this is the weight and the surface is going to apply the normal force in the upward direction. And similarly when it is moving from state 1 to state 2, so the surface is going to apply the friction. So, we will have the friction force which will be acting in the opposite direction of the displacement traveled. So, the friction force is going to act in this direction, let us say this is the friction force and this is the spring force. So, now this is that spring force, we have the friction force, we have the normal force and the weight of the block is acting vertically downward and this the friction force is always equal to mu k times n mu k times n and as we know that mu k is 0.25, so we can write this is 0.25 n. Now, if we apply the uh, summation of forces along the y direction, if, if this is my positive x and y direction, so if we apply the summation of forces along y, so that will be equal to m a y. And as we can see that this block is moving in the x direction. So, there is no motion along the y direction. So, this means that the acceleration in the y direction is 0. So, if this is 0, then the summation of forces along y will be equal to 0. So, now if we add up all the forces in the y direction, so this we will write that this n is acting in the positive y direction. So, n minus the weight and this will be equal to 0. Or we can say that n is equal to weight and weight is equal to since the mass of the block is 8 kg, so 8 into 9.81. So, this is the mass. 8 multiplied by 9.81. So, the weight is 78.48, 78.48 Newton and this is the n value. Now, since we want to find the compression, so when this block B is moving with some velocity, so what it will do is that it will compress it is having some energy. So, due to that uh, energy, it will compress the spring and let us say that uh, this block reaches here, right, from, from here, from here, the blocks reaches uh, somewhere here, let us say it travels a distance of this much. So, it will compress the spring and we want to find that compression in the spring. So, the compression in the spring will be from here to here. This is let us say the compression is let us say represented by x and from here to here this distance will be how much let me write this n here. So, this distance is 2 meters. So, when this block B travels 2 meter distance it comes with the contact with the spring and then it compresses the spring for a distance of x and then it stops momentarily, right. So, then that will be our state 2, this will be our state 2. So, now if we apply the work energy principle, so according to work energy principle, the kinetic energy at state 1 plus the summation of all the work done due to the external forces from 1 to 2 will be equal to the kinetic energy at state 2. So, at state 2, the velocity will become 0. So, V2 is equal to 0 since it will come to rest momentarily. So, this means that the kinetic energy at uh, state 2 will become 0. So, this kinetic energy at state 2 is 0. So, we will write this as 0. And now, the kinetic energy uh, at state 1 is 1 divided by 2 mass. So, mass is 5, uh, mass is 8 kg, this is 8 and V1 square. So, V1 is 5 
plus the work done due to the uh, spring force plus the work done due to the friction and as we can see that this normal and this weight they are in the vertical direction and the displacement is traveled in the horizontal direction so they are perpendicular to the displacement it travels so they are not doing any work on this block b so this will be equal to zero and now we can find uh, the work done due to the spring force as we know that the work done due to the spring force is always equal to 1 divided by 2 k x square and x is the compression or elongation in the spring so now this is 1 divided by 2 k of the spring is 200 this is k a i will write this k a so 200 and x is we want to find this x and as we can see that this block p is moving towards the right and the spring force is acting towards the left so the displacement travel direction and the spring force direction they are in the opposite direction so this means that this spring uh, the work done due to the spring force is the negative work done so we have to put minus sign here so this the work done due to the spring force is minus if we divide this 200 by 2 so this is 100 x square so this is the work done due to the uh, spring force now the work done due to the friction so the work done due to the friction will be f times the total distance traveled so let me write that as t so the total distance traveled by the block right so then that will be this the friction force is 0 0.25 times n and and as we know that n is equal to 78.48 so i will write point, 0.25 into 78.48 and the friction force is acting from state 1 until state 2 when when the block comes to rest right so it acts for the whole distance traveled right so the block covers the distance of 2 meters plus x so i will multiply it with 2 plus x so this is the work done due to the friction so now i will put these values in that uh, work energy principle and we will be able to find that compression of the spring so this if we simplify it so 8 divided by 2 is 4 so this is 4 into 5 square so uh, 4 into 5 square will become 100 let me write this as 100 plus the work done due to the spring force is minus 100 x square minus 100 x square plus the work done due to the friction is 0 0.25 into 78.48 into 2 plus x and again we have to decide that whether the work done due to this friction is positive work or negative work so again as we can see that the distance the displacement travel is towards the right and the friction force is acting towards the left so again they are in the opposite direction so this is also the negative one so we have to write minus sign here as well so this is also negative this is equal to 0 and 0 0.25 into this answer answer multiply by 0 0.25 this is 19.62 so let me simplify this this is 19.62 now let me simplify this this is 100 minus 100 x square uh, plus into minus minus 19.62 into 2 plus x and this is equal to 0 so this is let me write this first this is minus 100 x square and minus into plus minus and 19.62 into x will give us 19.62 x and now let me write this constant 100 and now this 19.62 uh, into 2 so that is minus 19.62 into 2 this gives me 19.62 into 2 so this gives me 39.24 so 39.24 and this is equal to 0 this is 100 remember so this is minus 100 x square minus 19.62 x and 100 minus that answer so 100 minus 39.24 this is 60.76 so plus 60.76 and this is equal to 0 now this is a quadratic equation 
So we can find the solution of this quadratic equation. So I will change the mode of the calculator to quadratic equation and the coefficient of x square is minus 100. The coefficient of x is minus 19.62 and the constant is 60.76. So this gives me the compression value equals to 0 0.688, 0 0.688 meters and then the second solution is minus 0 0.88. Let's, let me write that this is minus 0 0.884, so in meters. Right? So as we can see that the original length of the spring is let's say the unstretched length is let's say L and when it is compressed, let's say that is the compressed length, let's say. So X will be, we can say that X plus LC, this X plus LC will be equal to the original length or we can say that X is equal to L minus LC. So from this problem, we can see that L is greater than LC. So this X must be positive right since the spring is compressed so this means that we must accept this as an answer this is not acceptable since for this particular problem this x must be positive so this is uh, 0 0.688 this is the correct answer so when when this phenomena happens when the block b is moving initially with 5 meter per second so it will compress the spring for a distance of for a length of 0 0.688 meters so this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope it will help you in learning. Kindly subscribe my channel for the solution of such more problems.